have you ever wondered what it would be like to surprise someone in a whole different country like just booking a flight taking it and going it's like 2 30 a.m in the morning and it's so so cold i'm hanging out with eddie kezo's tv So now I am at the airport. I'm going to Ghana. Ghana at this point, Ghana is like, hey, Charlie. Ghana is like my second home. As in, I, I think this is my is it fifteenth time going to Ghana. I go there so many times. I just love Ghana so much. I'm super excited to get to Ghana, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. I'm so proud of myself. I'm super early. Um it's only two and my flight is at five. I'm already in the check-in. Uh I, I got home today around um six. My car actually broke down. I had to leave it at the mall, call my brother to come pick it up. Uh yes, then I had to go for a COVID test and then I went back home. Um I couldn't find the key for my room. Actually, you guys, you don't even understand what I've gone through. So after all that, I decided to sleep for like three hours because I was like, Aish, I need sleep. So I slept for like three hours. And then I set an alarm. And then I also told my dad to call me at that time. So I also told our house help to wake me, you know, just back up, you know, just in case my alarm doesn't ring. Uh, but I slept for three hours, not sufficient sleep at all, but it is better than nothing. So now I am at the airport right on time i am so done with those days when i used to always get to the airport late you know i've missed a couple of flights and i'm done with missing flights i think i've missed like is it four flights and i'm so done you know such a waste of money and time and energy my family members are asking me why are you going to ghana for the 15th time there are so many countries in africa why do you keep going to ghana and i'm like um i don't know <laughs> I don't know, but uh, um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Guys, so I bought the shoes yesterday at LCY Kiki, um, but they are pressing me so badly. Imagine I can't. I have been trying, I've been telling myself maybe it's pressing me because it's new shoes, it's gonna expand. But then guys, imagine, no, I can't put my feet through this. I think I'm just gonna change. Will I just vomile until I get to Ghana? Oh, what you guys? Hey, she's gonna be a long trip. It's like seven hours, my guy. Hey. Let me just change. Let's see my Kiki. I had packed some sandals and shoes here. My $80 shoes <laughs> that I got in New York. I think this is gonna be more comfortable for me, you guys. I'm not even messing with you. Hey guys i can't even begin to explain how comfortable i'm feeling after checking off those shoes Let's see i am so free it's like it's crazy um guys but i'm freaking out so when i was um checking in um they asked for the return ticket and i showed them the return ticket and they're like it doesn't have a number like it doesn't have a ticket number i'm like what so it's happened to me before i've actually been left by a flight because of that same thing like ticket number they're, i'm like it's there that's the ticket they're like no you can't see the ticket number oh my god i started freaking out <sighs> but thank god they have led me through you see how crazy things at the airport are so i just came over to buy a minute maid because i'm feeling kind of thirsty and um i didn't have any shillings so i used dollars and guess how many dollars it is three dollars so i gave them a five dollar i've been giving a change of two dollars okay two dollars guys do you know three dollars is like three hundred kenya shillings so i paid three hundred kenya shillings for this one minute made which one do i take this one three dollars i don't have mango i'd rather take apple this is the most expensive drink I've ever bought in Kenya. This is crazy. Guys, I just had to keep the socks. It's so cold. Guys, so I have finally checked in for the second time. You know, you have to check in twice. 
um, just before you board the plane and initially just when you've entered the building so you guys just in front of me when i was checking in right now there was this white woman from the states and um they asked her for her covid test and she showed them the vaccine and she's like i've taken the full vaccination um and the woman told her to pass so i asked her when it came to my turn if i've done the covid test uh, i mean vaccine do i need to take a covid test then she told me it depends on where you're going if you're going to the states like her the white woman then you don't need um to take a covid vaccine you don't need to take a covid test because you already have taken the vaccine but in africa it doesn't matter whether you've taken the covid vaccine or not you still have to do the covid test and i'm like are you kidding me why is africa so behind that is just that is just sad you know a covid test goes from about 70 dollars to 100 dollars to it's a waste of time like come on now I feel like African countries need to really advance, as in pull up your socks. If people have taken the COVID vaccine, why are you still subjecting us to take COVID tests? We already know we are negative. Are you just trying to take money from us? Like, what's going on? I don't understand, you guys. <sighs> but, um, yeah, let, drop a comment. Let's have a conversation. What do you think? Why are African governments lacking? Because the woman told me in Africa, that it doesn't matter. But if you're going to places like the U.S., as long as you've taken the vaccine, you're good to go. <laughs> Guys, it's time for breakfast. What do I love most about this breakfast? It's this cake. This cake is usually so soft and the pancakes too. So these days they give pancakes as well. This is new. Quite new. Um, oh, look at that. Guys, we just landed in Ethiopia. The flight is about 22 hours. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. Oh, finally, the sun is out. Hey, guys, I was freezing. Thank God the sun is out. So we finally going to Ghana um, and stopped over in Ethiopia. So that was so short. I think the plane is supposed to be leaving at 9. It's 8. So we are going into the plane. I am super excited with every minute, with every step. Uh, but I feel so bad for my. I feel like, you know, some people don't like to be pranked or surprised. Are you that kind of person? Do you mind being surprised or pranked? Like, what kind of person are you? Drop a comment and let me know. Hi. Hi, how are you? See this guy is taking a video of me without my permission. Why are you taking a video of me without my permission? <laughs> oh guys, so I just met these guys, they're from Uganda. So it's nice to meet our neighbors, you know? Yeah. And yeah, tell them who you are. Tell them who you are. My name is Emma. Games of drama. We are going for a festival. That's amazing. Yeah. And he's a miracle. Ah, what's up? My name is Eugene Miracle. <laughs> Eddie Kizos officially. I come. Eish. I'm hanging out with Eddie Kizos team. If you're Ugandan, drop a comment. This is incredible. Oh my god, look at me. Look at me with Eddie Kizos team. If you love Eddie Kenzo, drop a comment. In case you don't know Eddie Kenzo, Eddie Kenzo is one of the biggest artists from Uganda, which is the neighboring country with Kenya. So me meeting his team is just amazing. And I was asking them about Uganda women. You say Uganda women, they kneel down, they are very submissive, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so it's not it's not a rumor. It's true. Yeah, let's go in. Okay guys, so now I am in the plane super excited i have just gotten my earphones which is which is a good thing because the flight from ethiopia to ghana is like five hours i don't want to stare at the chairs the whole time so can't wait to see what new movies have been upgraded here and um yeah drop a comment let me know what do you think we might find my um i think he'll either be creating content or sleeping Drop a comment. Let me know what do you think we're gonna find him doing. It's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting. In the meantime, um, I think I'm just gonna enjoy my movie, whichever movie it is. Uh, I'll see you guys when the food gets here. I have 
have never slept this much in a plane. Mm, I was, I've slept so much. <laughs> I think it's because I didn't sleep last night. I was so sleepy and I felt like I was on the plane for like 10 hours. And now the 10 hours are over. I've just been woken up. We've been told you're about to land. We are almost in Ghana. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. I was wearing this thing when I'm sleeping, but I still can feel some pain in my neck. And I'm like, I, honey, you didn't accomplish your purpose. We are about to surprise Maya. Stay tuned in. I've also just woken up to this on my lap. I think this is something you're supposed to fill up. It's from the Welcome to Ghana Customs Division Revenue Authority. Okay, and um, Customs Declaration. So I'm gonna fill this up. I don't even have a biro. Guys, worst COVID test I've ever taken. That guy got into my nose. He took what he wanted and then he had to go back in three times and he's going in so deep. <sighs> I'm like, you've already gotten what you wanted. Ah. I'm so wise. So, Maya is calling me. He's like, where are you? I'm like, um, I, I didn't sleep the whole night, so I just woke up because I've not been online the whole morning. <laughs> I really, I can't wait. Oh, there's my bag. Finally. Oof, guys, have I shown you my new cute pink bag? I usually have a blue one, but... Um... <clears throat> I got a pink one. This is it. Oh, so now they they take your they do the COVID test and then before you leave the airport you'll have the results. This is just sad. Like, why are they taking us through this and we've already done? The, we are already vaccinated, you know. And then paying for the COVID test is not cheap in Ghana. It is still one hundred and fifty dollars, which is fifteen thousand Kenya shillings, which is more than double what you pay in Kenya. Crazy. Hey, I love Ghana, but these things, they make me just, you know, it's disappointing, but I love Ghana. No one can change that. Ghanaians don't come for me. You know I love you. You know I love you, Ghana. Hey, hi. See who I met. Hi. This is Judy. Yeah. This is the from Botswana. Botswana. Yes, I wash oh. your thingy on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Yes. I can't believe I have people watching me from Botswana. Yes, I haven't come there Trudy. Yeah, it's me. Hello, what's the name of your spot? Uh, Trudy Gang. Trudy Gang. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here with Trudy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I'd love to give you a book. I'm a writer. Oh, really? I don't know if you're in a week. Oh, okay, I've been in Ghana for, um, for a long time. <laughs> for a long time? Yeah, you, can, yeah. you don't have the book here. Yeah, we can switch. We can change contacts and then you can just Hello? I don't have mask, you know, but um, I forgot to carry a mask. But um, where are you now? You're, you're inside, right? All right, come on, come on. I'm, I'm here. I'm here right at the I'll see you. I just met a guy here who is also coming for the African Leadership Summit. That was good. I need to meet him then. So they're looking for me. How are you? Oh, this guy is picking you up, eh? Hello, my because leader. How are you? I'm your leader? You are my leader. How? I can't believe I'm meeting this guy. Ah. I, can't I was watching your story the other time. I'm like, this man is an inspiration. Yeah, I'm in the vlog right now. Of course, you're in the vlog right now. Nice you want to say you. something? Because I, I just met him and he told me that there's going to be a summit and I, I really want to attend. You have to come. You have to. You have to. <laughs> so you came all the way from Botswana, Botswana for, the for the summit? That's incredible. Yeah. And I met this amazing person <laughs> that I've been doing on YouTube for I don't know how many years now. Wow. Yeah. And I said, I would have to meet Mr. Ghana, baby. Yeah, yeah, in my country, <laughs> definitely you have to meet me. Yes. Doing a great work. Thank, Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are really amazing. Wow. I appreciate you. You are yeah. But you are doing uh, quite a lot for the continent. Not just your country, not just your families, but for the child generation of black, young women and men. That's deep. That's, yeah. That's really deep. You don't deep. understand the impact. But when I watch these things, I'm like, 
Mm. I need to help these guys. How, how, how do you intend to help us then? Sometimes we're just sharing, sh t telling the world or sharing your videos. And more than that, sometimes supporting Africa. I remember there's a time you did um, a blog on Ethiopian Air yeah, Airlines. Ethiopian Airlines, yeah. yeah. That made me to realize that um, I don't have to book anything else besides Ethiopian. Ethiopian. I came with Ethiopian, Ethiopian. Airlines, yeah. See. And I loved the service. And I felt like that, um, what do you call it? The new spirit of Africa. That's what we should be about. Yeah. <laughs> See, yes. Because of this, when, yeah. when is the event? The event is on the 25th, 20, 25th, 26th, and 27th. 24th. Yeah. 24th. So yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. I'll pass by. So I'd love to tomorrow. give. I'd love to give you two guys my books. You, Just you, autograph you write, it. You write what? I'm an author, published oh, okay. author so from Botswana. Book. I have books. No. Yeah. You know what? Um, this is a platform that we support. Uh -huh. Africa is doing great stuff on the uh -huh. continent. I don't know you. I'm meeting you for the first time. Yes, but sir. since you have the book, I believe that you have to tell us so that all the people watching this video can yes. go purchase your book. Yes, and it's sir. by force. It's not even like going to beg them or anything like that. So tell us yes, sir. what's the name of the book and where can they get it? Okay. Um, hello, everyone. In this beautiful channel of uh, Mr. Africa, Mr. Ghana Bay. <laughs> And the beautiful queen right here, Miss Judy. Uh, my name is Leseho Monso, all the way from Botswana. An award-winning youth activist and author, published three books. Um, the most amazing one that is available on online platforms is called Insights of an X Chromosome an Idealist. It's available right now on, 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 on Amazon.com. So go in there and purchase it. You just see it. My name is Leseho Monso. I believe that Mr. Ghana will write the right, name somewhere there. there. And also I have a YouTube channel. Sometimes I share content, mostly podcasts. Okay. It's a small channel, but I would appreciate it if they go in there and sub, so send you us know? A link and I will definitely share so yes, that sir. they will check out the podcast. Yes, sir. What is your final yes, message for Africans? Sorry? The final message for Africans. Um, Africans, we are capable. We have all it takes. We have uh, all the great ideas, especially us, the young Africans. We have to change the narrative. We have to build the Africa that we desire. We are not supposed to be um, crying about how the people ahead of us have failed us but we have it's about time we take the initiative to be in control and do the best we can to transform the continent that's what I can say yeah I want to say thank you so much thank you so much I'll see you tomorrow yes I promise. thank you I'll appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> Selfie, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and it's a pleasure. Please, please get in touch. I will. I, let me even give you my number in case I forget. Yes, you know, like. Oh, my brother! I saw you, and I'm like, this guy is definitely. The day you came. The day you came to me. You, you were there. <laughs> South Sudan. There, tell, tell, tell them something, man. Uh, You're from South Sudan. I mean, I, I feel like we are uniting Africa in our own way, man, because I just met someone from Tanzania. I'm meeting someone from Botswana. I just met someone from South Sudan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing, man. So, yeah, it's good to see you in Ghana. I thought you were always there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've come for the Young African Leaders Summit. Oh. Taking place in Ghana. Uh, uh, the, so then which means it's by force for me to be there tomorrow you have to be there. i have to what time is it it's starting in the morning in the morning yeah it's starting in the morning at, okay uh, at 10. at 10. so you should be i have flight to catch tomorrow but i'll definitely gonna come our, yeah oh first. nice man nice uh, nice to meet you all yeah all right but i'll see you guys tomorrow so uh, coming back to Juba. i'll come back uh, only nelson tells me to come back <laughs> Nelson, tell me to come back. You must be happy. You know, yeah, my he's finally here, man. Kenya, right? Yeah. Good to see you guys. Well, see I, you. I wanted to speak Swahili, but I don't understand what to say. Yeah, but so okay, let me let me understand. Why, why not? But I want I want to ask you a question. Yeah. yeah. When you came, the COVID test, how much did you pay? hundred and fifty. A hundred and fifty dollars. Are you happy with that? Oh my goodness, that's too much. I mean, which country can you pay 150? 50, but, the COVID test at the arrival. Yeah, at arrival, you pay 150 for COVID-19. That's ridiculous, yeah. man. It's yeah. really yeah. ridiculous. And then you, you are made to pay before you come. You come. Then you come with your receipt. You finish this. How much did you pay for the COVID test? I paid, when I was in Kenya, I paid $50. And then you came and to Ghana? I arrived $150. Are you happy that you paid $150? No, I love Ghana so much, but this is disappointing. It's too much. Yeah. 
very disappointed and I don't know why they say that people from West Africa have to pay $50 and the rest of the world has to pay $150. I think we are all the same. Even if, you, even if you want to do something like that, let yeah. all Africans pay $50. $50. I believe that social media has the power to change so many things. And I am pleading on behalf of all travelers that come to Ghana that the $150 is too much. And I think something has to be done. Your Excellency, I mean, if we all can pay $50, I'll be happy with it. I mean, what are we even using the money for? We are not seeing the development. Your Excellency, I plead with you. I'm the true son of the soil. I'm pleading on behalf of everyone coming to Ghana. You are saying that we should come back home. And if you are coming back home, please make it easy for us to come back home. I think before first week of December, I want to hear that news that the COVID test have been reduced to $50 to an entire passenger that is coming to the Republic of Ghana. Thank you so much. And I know my wish will be granted. You guys don't want the same thing to happen? Of course. How about you that is watching this video? Is that not what you wanted? Share this video, tag the uh, president, tag the tourism board of Ghana, and let's make this happen. Thank you so much for watching. And you want to tell them something? Feels good to be back. Oh, <laughs> but you can't lie to me anymore. You don't even know how to prank, you know. And um, you have a final message for Africans? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, African, we want people. Let's keep united and uh, let's promote our cultures. Thank Beautiful. you. Thank you so much, good man. And good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, guys. Okay. Hey. Our guy. Family. See, haters don't want you to see that he's our guy, man. <laughs> Most talented artist in the whole of Ghana, man. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Kwame Eugene, all day, man. I'm a big fan of Shata, but you know, you need to give room for what? The young ones, because I believe that Kwame Eugene over everyone, man. Yay! Because he called me.